All right, so with these few items that you got laying around your house, I'm going to go through them one at a time. I got a bread pan, tea light candles, I've got two different terracotta pots, flower pots, one bolt, one washer. I'm going to show you how to make an emergency heater out of all these items. All right, so here's how we do it. Bread pan. I'm going to take the bread pan and I'm going to take my candles out. Now you can just use plain tea light candles. I actually got the vanilla ones because I like the smell of vanilla. And so you can take four of these and we're just going to light them here real quick. We put them in the bread pan. So we'll light them real quick. Now you've probably seen this in science class, or you should have seen it in science class. Now remember, Tara, you don't want to stray too much from the ingredients. All right, so terracotta pot. Don't get the plastic pot. It will melt. Terracotta pot. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get a four and a half inch bread pan. Now you can use the five inch bread pan which is what this is but it doesn't work as well. I'll show you a little trick behind that. So you're going to take the smaller pot. This is just a standard um, 11 centimeter standard pot and I'm going to put it over the flame. Get it to set here a minute. There we go. Okay, and then what you want to make do? What you want to do is you want to make sure that you cover this hole. That's the whole key. Now you can use aluminum foil. You can use um, foil tape. But my friend uh, Daniel or Dennis, I believe it was at Home Depot, came up with a bolt, just a simple uh, one-inch bolt and a washer, and plug up the hole. And you take the bigger pot, and again, this is again a, a standard terracotta pot. This is the 16 inch pot. And let me take the thing off here and put it on top. And what will happen is because of all of these tea lights underneath, or you could use the one inch votive candles, you could do that too. What will happen is, is that all the air that's getting trapped in here, and that's actually getting warm, all the air that's getting trapped in here, you put this on top, the air starts to rise through, it comes through here, and it will start to heat up your house, or your office, or wherever the case may be. Now I'm going to wrap it up here for you in just a minute as to how you can use this idea to light up your real estate business. All right, so here's the wrap up. Did your real estate business get cold in 2013? Did you list as much transactions in 2013 as you wanted to? Well, if you didn't list as many transactions in 2013, I man, it's getting hot in here, um, then you need to come talk to us. Just go ahead and reach out to the person who sent you this video or give us a call. There's a number right there. And we'll sit down with you. We'll talk about your real estate business, see what's going on, and give you some free ideas on how you can help warm up your business in 2014. Anyways, make sure you stay tuned to next week's tip.